The difficulties we face, my brothers and sisters, a lot of the times connected to the fact that our salah is not in order. One of our primary duties is to fulfill our prayers to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He's given us our lives. What do we do? We didn't fulfill the salah. We felt lazy when we did it. We lived a life where when people watched us, our children or family members, they saw that whatever the Almighty had ordained was actually considered a burden upon us. We didn't want to do it. We dressed, but we didn't want to dress the way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted us to dress. We kept on revealing more and more. Wallahi, those who have revealed, those who have revealed, let me tell you what happens to them. Those who don't want to dress according to what their maker has dictated. And I'm not just talking about Islam. This applies to the Christians and the Jews as well. They also have very strict code of dress. If they've forgotten it, it's not our fault. Like I said earlier, we dress more like the Mother Mary than the Christians themselves, with all due respect, obviously. But what I want to tell you today is those who want to show they become enslaved by what other people think about them. They live a life that's not happy. I know people who put makeup on their knees. I know people who wear makeup on their knees in order to hide the fact that the knee is darker than the rest of the leg or they have stretch marks on the knee. Why? Because they want that mini skirt to look such that when people see woo -hoo, woo, those legs, but you don't realize you cannot go to Rukur or Sujood. You cannot touch it. And if anyone touches it, you are depressed. May Allah forgive us. I know people who wear makeup, not just on their faces, but Astaghfirullah, even to show a cleavage. Astaghfirullah. Is that what we are supposed to be doing? Is that goodness? Is that happiness? Be yourself. Allah has given you whatever you have. Be yourself. Learn to love yourself for who you are. Wallahi, you will be able to lead a much happier life and you will be able to guide others towards that happiness. Be yourself. Be happy with what Allah has bestowed upon you. Wallahi. That is something very important. It is the teaching of Islam. Allah tells us, appreciate what we've given you. This is why Allah says, you have hair a certain way, be happy with it. You have a complexion a certain way, be happy with it. If you are like me and you don't have hair on your head, be happy with it, mashallah. Bald already, mashallah. And someone was calling me youth a few minutes ago, mashallah. Well, we are. Everyone feels young, don't they? Iqra. كتاب الله ترقى جنانه وتنى العظيم الأجر والغفران